Artificial Creeps presents weird, strange, and spooky tales and visuals generated entirely by artificial intelligence. It might contain frightening or disturbing content, and all artificial intelligence models may contain hidden vices learned from their training. Viewer discretion is advised. The crows were screaming. It was late in the evening, and the fog had rolled in from the ocean, settling over the small island like a thick veil. The thick, humid air was dreary, and the crows were making it worse. Their cries echoed through the trees, sending a chill down my spine. I had been living on this island for several months now, and I had never heard them so agitated. Normally their calls were soothing, but tonight something was off. I could see them gathered in the trees outside my living room window. Large black birds with beady red eyes and sharp beaks. They didn't seem to have a purpose. They were merely flying around in circles as they screamed at the top of their lungs. For some reason they seemed agitated by me. And they stared intently at me through the glass as if they could see me watching them. I turned away from the window and went to close my curtains, hoping that by blocking up their view of me they would calm down. As I pulled them, should I heard something outside my front door, something heavy dragging across the pavement. I tried to ignore it, hoping that whatever it was would go away if I ignored it enough times. But it persisted. More and more sounds of dragging would reach my ears until it sounded like someone was leaning against my front door with all their weight. Against my better judgment, I decided to investigate what was on my front porch. I quietly snuck out of my living room and down the hall towards my front door until I heard a sound that made my blood freeze. A low gurgling noise that sounded like someone had something caught in their throat. It instantly reminded me of what my cat sounded like when she had a hairball in her throat. But it was far deeper and more menacing than anything a cat could produce. Even one that was older than dirt like my old girl cat was. I froze in place as I listened to whatever was making that noise on my front porch. It was wet sounding, sloshing around like water in a bucket that had been filled to full. Despite it being dark outside, I could vaguely make out what looked like black shapes moving around on my porch through the front window. They seemed to be congregating around something in front of my door, almost like they were protecting it from me or something. Whatever those crows were doing out there made me nervous for some reason, almost as if whatever those crows were doing on my porch was leaving those people missing from town here somehow. Suddenly a loud foot echoed from outside, followed by an even more disturbing sound. Something went splattering against what accompanied by a low chuckle from one of the dark sheeps on my porch that sounded human somehow. The crows were laughing, 